Oh, 
Something which is unfolding, which you guys ought to pray about. I saw that helicopter thing being blown up. Everything that has started along this way, known as the way of righteousness, the thing that you are getting here, it is just going to increasingly become more glorious and more glorious. You see, that's how it is. There is not any prophet, psychic, whatever you may call them, that has stood in front of masses and has been that detailed and that specific about things year in, year out, and you have seen them before you. Prophet Elvis Simbonye, the prophet with an unmatched record of prophetic fulfillment. These prophecies are indications that you are indeed in the presence of the testimony of Jesus, who is or which is the spirit of prophecy. of a prophet of God of this caliber in our nation is one that cannot be ignored. More than the supernatural manifestations, the level of the prophetic displayed by prophet Elvis Mbonye is a sign that the authority of God's word has the final say on the peril or prosperity of a nation, depending on how that word is received. In 2012, Prophet Elvis Simbonye prophesied what he saw as UPDF choppers blowing up on the way to Somalia. The helicopter seemed to have flipped but remained intact. Eight soldiers were rescued from it. Search and rescue operations are still ongoing with a contingent of Kenya Wildlife Service, Kenya Defense Forces and police officers combing the area around Mount Kenya for the missing Uganda military officers who are still not accounted for. President Kibaki has said that the operation will go... 
there's something which is unfolding which you guys ought to pray about again those months i saw i remember in that fellowship i had one of the fellowships i saw that helicopter thing being blown up and now before then we didn't have helicopters there in somalia specifically mentioned somalia and yesterday uh, you told me I hear they were moving. So you, you guys pray uh, the, and cover that because they all of a sudden wake up and they decide, okay, now let's send their helicopters. And there's a prophecy hanging, a very dangerous prophecy hanging over that. Now, that's why I'm saying that the time is coming when the nations will be subdued before the glory of God. They will take this thing seriously. They will begin consulting from God on whatever is supposed to be right in the nation glory to god that is basically the element of the prophetic it is to subdue the nations before the throne of god that they may recognize that the lord surely the lord is god and so it is not the politicians it's not the parliament all these guys can come up and debate all they want to uh, you know but god has foreseen it and god knows you take that action it is deadly you take this action and prosperity comes The choppers were sighted on Monday morning, and seven soldiers rescued before they were taken to Nanyuki airstrip. And that looks as though it is exactly what happened to the Ugandan crew. These fulfillments are a clear sign that those who heed God's voice in our day and age will not only be preserved, but restored and prospered to unimaginable heights. And as a chosen nation that hosts this great prophetic grace, whose word never falls to the ground, we bestow all praise, prestige, excellence, and exceptional celebratory double honor to God's heavenly gift to our generation, Prophet Elvis Mwonye. Can you imagine every organ of your being, every cell of your being, starting to work backward, starting to be refreshed, renewed, and you become a new creation? <laughs> and all things pass away, and all things become new. Your liver, your lungs, your cells, your nerves, everything. Glory to God. Can you imagine that? It shifts on the inside of you. It shifts. Glory to God. It shifts. It takes on something new. Now, there are those of you who are hearing this and it has already started in your body. Glory to God. Now, you have to know this. You have to be in harmony with it. Do you embrace this? Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, can you imagine that? That you will see someone and you will have known them to have been a certain age and this is happening. It is, it is happening. You will know and say, eh. and let me tell you, there are some people here <laughs> who've got to be careful because if your mother gets this revelation, <laughs> you don't get it you will be like the mother she will be like the daughter <laughs> I'm telling you wrinkles will disappear I'm telling you the gray hairs will disappear the dead malfunctioned organs will start to be renewed everything will get back on form now I'm talking about the regeneration of your body. I'm talking about mortality being swallowed up by life. Now this is the testimony of the day, of the time. It is the testimony. It is happening. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I say it is happening. It is happening. It is happening. Glory to God. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? 
the regeneration regeneration of your body such that mortality is swallowed up swallowed up totally go to proverbs 12 verse 28 it says in the way of righteousness is what in the way of righteousness is life and in the pathway thereof there is no death <laughs> can you imagine that are you in the way of righteousness you see there is such a thing as the way of righteousness and that way is in Christ I said that way is in Christ when Christ is in the picture of things when he becomes the factor then that way is called the way of righteousness now that would mean that would mean that he stands in your stead concerning everything now that's the way of righteousness then he becomes your righteousness so that means and then you are made righteous in him so now that would mean in that way in that way everything everything as far as you are concerned before god and before life everything is in right standing with you nothing is fighting against you let me put it this way every good thing everything every good thing is in right standing with you it is not opposed to you it is not antagonistic to you that is the righteous way because you see now when you see when man is righteous the whole earth everything that is made that is good it is for him to enjoy as he worships the lord as he walks with god all things are his now that would mean that in that way in the way of the righteous everything that you face that somehow brings good to you or is beneficial to you in one way or the other will have to come in harmony with your desires you understand this now that would mean that everything that is negative cannot be in your path eh? it just can't be the way of righteousness there's a way there's a way called the way of righteousness in that way in that way of righteousness your faults are not considered your weaknesses are not considered in that way of righteousness in the way that is contrary to it your faults and right and, 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 and weaknesses are considered in this way it is not he says the handwriting of ordinances that was against us he took it out of the way and he nailed it on the cross so that means everything in this way everything is for you and if god be for you who can be against you so in that path of righteousness in that path of righteousness where you see yourself and when you come into the picture you know that that deal has got to go your way why because it just has you just privileged it just has there is no way you can miss out on anything he says in the way of righteousness is life and in the pathway thereof there is no failure there is no death there is no rejection now are you going to shrink back into the old form that says ah you see at least let's get a bit of a bit of a share here but eventually we come out on top he says there's such a way as the way of righteousness and when you walk that way he says when you walk that way 
And you see, it is not by effort again. You just need to understand this and be conscious of it. He says, when you take that way. Now, in other words, that way when you take it, when you happen to fail, you say, thank God for the blood of Christ. Thank God for the blood of Christ. I am his righteousness. I'm eternally a child of God justified by his love you 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 you're moving <laughs> every single day you don't entertain death condemnation and worthiness you don't entertain it whether it is from your friend your parent from reverend swan so archbishop swan so you don't entertain it but i'm telling you no 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 no, no. you shut them off you tell them, get behind me, Satan. You accuser of the brethren. You shut them off. He says, in that way of the righteous, if you take it and you're conscious of your righteousness in him and you know that it is eternal and nothing at all can affect it because nothing can affect the blood of Jesus, nothing can affect the righteousness of Jesus. Let me ask one question. Can anything affect the righteousness of Jesus? So you see, there is nothing. So you're conscious of it when you wake up. You're conscious of it when you sleep. You're conscious of it every waking moment. When you pray. When you don't pray. Every time. You're conscious of it. He says. Anytime anything happens to you. You don't catch yourself. Ah, do you remember what was happening? No, 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 no. He says the righteous are as bold as a lion. And he says, the wicked flee while no man pursues them. Can you imagine? He says, for the, the wicked, eh? when they start talking about something, but, ah, so you're talking about me. <laughs> he says, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Now, in other words, they are confident. They know and get what is theirs. Because they know that their righteousness is of God. Their righteousness is eternal. It is provided. It is there sealed, established in Christ. So he says, he says, in the way of righteousness is life. It is life. It is life. He says, and in the pathway thereof, there is no death. That means do not anticipate any hiccups I'm talking about mortality being swallowed up by life. Mortality being swallowed. That means don't anticipate any setback in this way. Don't anticipate it. There's life. There's favor. There's increase. There's light. Everything that has started along this way, known as the way of righteousness, the thing that you are getting here, it is just going to increasingly become more glorious, more glorious, and more glorious, and more glorious. He says, that's how it is. <laughs> you know something? Eh? Do you know that uh, we are supposed to be a glorious people you know why because our gospel is glorious <laughs> i said you see eh? our gospel is glorious and that's what makes us glorious he says the gospel is the power of god that's what he says so you see this glory this glory is unleashed in our gospel and it makes us as such. It makes us as glorious as our gospel is. Glory to God. We are a glorious people because our gospel is glorious. Our gospel is not void of glory. It is not held up in mad-made doctrines of false humility. It is a glorious gospel. It is the power of God. And you see, that is why we speak of the things that we speak. Because that is the calling of God for us. It says in the way of righteousness is life. And in the pathway thereof, there is no death. There is no death. Psalm 16 verse 11. 
Psalm 16 verse 11 says, Thou will show me the path of life. It says you will show me the path of life. There is a path of life. It is the path that you encounter here. It is the path that is opening up to you from glory to glory to glory. It is not that path that the lecturer lectured you about. It is not the path that the politician is telling you. The politician is giving you communism and socialism. You are receiving the revelation of God here. The path of God. And he says, you will show me. The nation has come to a place where it will lead to the path of God. Above the pathway of man, above the pathway of devils. He says, thou will show me the path of life. He says, in thy presence is fullness of joy. In your presence, there's fullness of joy. Can you imagine that? That your life is just going to be like that, eh? Continuously, increasingly. Because once you're in this path, you're in his presence. Then he says, and at your right hand, this place of authority that he's revealing, that he's unveiling, he says, their pleasures forevermore. <laughs> Do you understand that? Eh? He says, their pleasures forevermore. Pleasure forevermore. He says, the days of parting <laughs> have just started. <laughs> Does it say, at your right hand there is fasting forevermore? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Jesus! Anything is possible here! The glory that is here is able to materialize anything at any time. The angels that are here are here at your service. Enter the realm of the spirit and realize there is absolutely nothing on this ground that is impossible. Absolutely nothing. Glory to God. For so long, I, I had, I, I had this burden in me. There's a situation I was going through, and I couldn't tell anyone what I was going through. So, I wanted a word from the prophet, from the prophet of God, Prophet Elvis Somboni. And uh, on 28th January 2020, it was a Tuesday. Prophet came. He came straight to me, and he touched me. He touched my hand. He touched my shoulder. I was overwhelmed. It was a big feeling for me. The power of the name, it is here. The power of the name, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus, I bring gladness and restoration in your home. There's an apology that is coming your way. And it will turn things around. Eh? And the Spirit of God says, You shall see your enemy who laughed at you, you shall laugh at them. I count 12 days from now. Uh, when Prophet Elvis said, I release you and I bring restoration to your family, 
at this point, I knew that the God of Prophet Elvis Mboni was working in my family. Because me and my sister, we have not been at good terms for so long. For like three years, we had not been talking to each other. And we are staying together. And it could bother me, being that she's the only sister that I have. But at this point, I knew that the God of Prophet Elvis Mboni was in our situation and was working for me. When I reached home the following day, I found when my sister had packed things and left the house. I first got by that, but I knew that this was the working of the God of Prophet Elvis, because he really wanted me to enjoy and not have my peace disturbed. Within the 12 days, I saw the leaving of my sister, who had become a burden to me, when my sister left, God started working miracles in my life. I received a, mir a miracle house. I can say a nice and beautiful house. It was so big that it even had a land where I could farm and have food. And I knew that this only was the God of Prophet Elvis Mboni. Because there's no way I could have said, let me build this house in this time. But the God of Prophet Elvis Mboni just availed that house for me and for free. When my sister left, I didn't give up on the word of the restoration. I kept on meditating on the word that Prophet Elvis had given me, that I bring restoration to your family. After two years, my sister calls me and we mended our relationship as sisters. Now my sister believes in this grace upon Prophet Elvis Mboni because she has seen the miracles that have been worked in me through the grace upon Prophet Elvis Mboni. When Prophet Elvis Mboni said, there is an apology that is coming to you and this will turn things around. I didn't know where the apology was coming from. But later I got to understand when things started happening in my life. In 2019, I was working for a certain company. I didn't last for long, I, I worked for two months and the director told the HR, give her the papers, let her resign, I am not satisfied with her work. I was puzzled, it bothered me so much, I said, no, this can't happen to me. I told the HR, I'm not, I'm not signing the papers, so I left. Two years after the prophecy, I received a phone call from the salesperson in the company where I was working. And she told me they need you at office. At that point, I froze. I said, really, is it, is it true? Are you saying the truth? The following morning, I had to go to the office and meet the, the director. The director apologized and said the other time it was a confusion, but this time where we are putting you is a better place. It was not only just a better place, but I had to discuss my salary again, which was higher than the previous one. And the position was also higher than the previous one, from the stores in charge to the general manager of the company. And when Prophet this morning said that it will turn your life around, I've seen my life changing. The person who could lack even 1,000, I have now, I can order a meal of even a million and eat it. When Prophet Elvis Mboni say that the enemy who laughed at you, you will laugh at them, I saw the fulfillment of the word. In 2019, when I had been laid off, there was a gentleman in the company whom I had taken his position that laughed at me when they laid me off. But this time when I went back in a greater position, I really laughed at them also. And I was overjoyed because I saw the grace of Prophet Elvis Mboni had favored me before the management of the company. And now I understand when Prophet says that in a twinkle of an eye, you will see your life changing. And yourself, you will not understand it. I've seen my life changing and I'm also surprised of my life. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Do not let your destiny hang in the balance. Share your testimonies at testimony at prophetelvis.com. 
the atmosphere has been set, charged with the power from heaven itself for the rising and supremacy of the body of Christ, unlike any in world history. The glory is here. The glory is here. Hallelujah. Now you know what that means to you? Anything is possible. That means you have left a realm of limitations. Hallelujah. You have been called for a glorified assembling of God's elite, helmed by Prophet Elvis Mbonye, one whose prophetic display is drawing the world to the mountain of the Lord's house every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. at the brand new Zoe Grounds at 47 Chigorweza, next to Akasha Lakeside Campus off the Entebbe Express Highway. For those who are flying in, Contact our public relations desk by emailing pr at prophetelvis.com. This exactly is the reason the Lord brings you before a prophet. If the prophet can pick up on something that has not yet showed up in the physical, and he declares it to you and you see it he can tell you that your money is being counted glory to god i hear a sound of an abundance glory to god to become an heir of gold visit our partnership desk every tuesday 5 30 p.m at the new zoe grounds lot 47 chico Reza next to Akasha Lakeside Campus along the Entebbe Express Highway or visit our website at www.prophetelvis.com slash heirs of gold. It's a lifestyle. You can now listen, purchase, download, and watch supernatural life-awakening messages from Prophet Elvis Simbonye on your laptop, tablet, phone, and all other devices at your own convenience anywhere from your cars to your homes and workplaces by visiting prophetelvis.com slash shop connect with prophet elvis and Bonnie by going to www.prophetelvis.com slash facebook prophetelvis.com slash twitter prophetelvis.com slash instagram and prophetelvis.com slash youtube for this and more information visit our website